Viking Jump Nation, it's your boy here, Rushy S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Guys, massive announcement today. Quick video, I want to let you guys know that we have finally made it to Amazon.com in the USA. And at the moment, we are stocking the yellow iconic money rope. We have all the other colorways coming very soon. Um, to be honest, guys, we're super thrilled that we have finally made it on Amazon. It is literally like a dream come true for us, the fact that we've got our ropes on US grounds, on US soil. And you guys have been supporting us from day one. And now you guys can enjoy this on next day delivery. This is on the Prime delivery function. So I wanted to make this video, guys, to just um, basically highlight a few points about my rope, especially those who are coming to this channel for the first time um, and wondering what the hell's going on. This is the home of jump rope workouts, jump rope tutorials. This is also the home of the most in-demand speed rope on the planet. This is the money rope. This jump rope is going to make sure you can skip like a boss and get heads turning at your gym. So basically what we're going to do right now, in the rain, um, we keep it hardcore guys. We're going to unbox this or un unpackage this, let you guys know what to expect when you get it in your hands. And I want to show you how to look after this rope because a lot of people out there just taking out the packaging and just getting straight stuck in. The packaging is going to come like this, very simple, it's going to come in a poly bag. What I want you guys to do is open nice and gently from the stapling. And what you're going to see guys is you're going to have a set of instructions on the other side of the packaging. First and foremost, have a little read of the packaging and then make sure you read the instructions before you even take this rope out of the bag and even decide to try and have a little run with it. Right, so once you've read that, and I trust you're going to read that, this rope comes 10 feet long. A lot of you will be obviously different heights, different sizes, and different type of body setups. And that's going to basically affect the way you skip, um, the length that you need. So here we are. This is how we're going to measure this rope, guys. What makes this rope so good, guys, is the fact that you can adjust it in numerous ways. The first way you can adjust it is by using a knot in your rope. When you put the knot, make sure you don't put it too, too close to the handles, guys. Maybe four or five inches down from the base of the handle. That's one way of adjusting the length. Other method of adjusting your length, guys, is if you do it as so. So you pull the rope out of the back end of the handle, you're gonna get this adjustment mechanism. So hopefully you can see that. What you wanna do is gently slide the top piece off and that will reveal this kind of extra little piece in here. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten the rope here by simply spinning this little bit further down. We're then gonna squeeze, fix it back into position and this is where you're going to need a little bit of finger grease guys so I'm going to squeeze it here and then I'm going to use the rest of the force with my fingernails and that's going to allow it to really get back into position and make sure that it stays locked in so you can see here you're going to need a lot of finger grease here and that is pretty much fastened you're going to slip it back in and that's another way you can shorten the rope length but I prefer to have the knot in the rope so it doesn't have too many bits sticking out Alternatively, the third method is you can actually cut the ends of these ropes, but that is, I would say, my least favoured method. The second thing you guys want to do is actually know what the optimal length is for your body type, for your length, for your height, etc. I'm going to show you that now. Right, so the most common and basic way of measuring your rope, especially as a beginner, is if you use this method. You step into the middle of the rope with one foot. You want the base of the handles up here to come roughly to your armpit level. So you lift your arms up. And you can see there it's coming up to my armpit level. This is actually a really good length for me. I'm six foot one, which is 186 centimeters. This rope with the knot in it has been taken off maybe around about four or five centimeters. That's how I like to sort of measure it, the sort of beginner way. And thirdly, one of the most important things, guys, and I can't stress this enough, this is a vinyl PVC speed rope, five millimeters thick. It is very durable. It's a very good quality PVC. It's not like your common PVC ropes in the market, which is why the money rope is way head and shoulders above those type of ropes. However, the speed at which this can go, you do not want to skip on this on concrete or hard flooring, guys, for a couple of reasons. The first reason is you want to look after your joints. You don't want to be even skipping on hard flooring, guys. You want to try and find a gym mat. This is a Rush Athletic Speed mat. This will be coming and available in a few weeks' time. Worldwide delivery free. Or you want to try getting the gym mats um, or sort of flooring inside gyms. This will help maximize the life of the rope, guys, if you stay on soft flooring. Right, so lastly, guys, I want to also get in this video just how to get started. A lot of you, like I said, are coming to this channel for the first time. You're going to be able to enjoy the money rope on Amazon, get it next day delivery. Um, be sure to make sure you check my tutorials, my previous tutorials, to see how you can get set up. But here's a little quick insight. When you do want to set up, guys, when you first want to start skipping, um, I would recommend using the one-arm swings like I've already mentioned. It's a good way to get your rhythm timing. Get your footwork right. Every time the rope clips on the ground, 
You're just gonna jump. And it allows you to get your, your brain and your, your muscles, your limbs all in tune, all in sync. It's a great way to start skipping the right way, guys. This is a typical beginner error. With your arms out here, you wanna basically bring it in. Elbows facing back. With your thumb down the shaft of the jump rope, pointing forwards. It's gonna allow you to manipulate the rope better. Not to mention, moving from different types of moves. And then when you've got the setup right, is when you can actually go into more advanced moves. And fast or slow. This is the best rope on the planet, guys. Changing your cardio game forever. I want to thank you all for supporting us. Please take this advice on board. The money rope will make you look slick if you look after it. Be sure to ping me a comment down below. Any questions you want, get on Amazon right now, guys, especially those in the USA. I'm going to be hitting Amazon Canada, Amazon Mexico, and all the Amazons around Europe as much as possible. Our global reach has been phenomenal since we started this brand. Um, I trust this product, guys. When I first started YouTube over two and, two and a half years ago, I've always promoted this rope, all this type of rope is just the best. It's the best for anyone out there who are looking to learn how to skip properly, make it look good and get the most out of their cardio routine. Out of breath, we're going to leave you with a quick, short, epic edit. Thank you all for supporting the movement. You guys are my Jump Nation family. I love you all. So don't forget, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace.